I just got this drink for free. Hey y'all, it's Emily. Welcome to or back to my channel. And today's video is about how to save money at Starbucks. <laughs> get into it I just want to let you guys know about sizing because sizing is very important the typical sizes are tall grande and venti there are some sizes for example for teas you can get trentas and for frappuccinos and things like that you can get shorts um, short cups can also be filled with things like milk and stuff like that that you can get for free if they don't have it up at the bar so let's go ahead and get into the hacks. Hack number one, how to get a cheaper latte. We all love our lattes and this is how you can get it for cheap. So there's two ways to do it, but I did one of them because I usually always do the other one. So this is for an iced latte, but you can do the same thing just without ice. So I asked for three shots of espresso in a venti cup over ice. Then I took that over to the bar and I added milk and then I added some sugar to get my iced latte. Then I also bought a vanilla latte to compare and this is what I thought about it. Okay, so what we have first is the regular vanilla latte and then we have three shots of espresso over ice in a venti cup and we'll list the prices on the screen and I'm gonna do a taste test. So I added milk at the bar and sugar, so let me try this. Okay, and then we try the vanilla latte. They taste very, very similar actually. And this one is cheaper. So I would actually go for this one um, instead. They're actually very, very similar. So good hack. So that was that. It was actually pretty good. And if you're not in it for as much espresso and you just want the taste, you can get an iced coffee, which again, very cheap. Um, I'll have the exact price on the screen. And with that iced coffee, you can add any type of milk, almond milk, coconut, whatever. You can tell them to add it or ask room for it. Um, but if you don't want the milks that are at the bar, I would go ahead and ask for it. If it's coconut or almond milk, go ahead and ask them to put it in there and pay for it. And you can also add a flavor to that. So you can add caramel, you can add vanilla or anything like that. It's not as sweet as a latte, but again, you can add sugar. So that's another way to do the same hack. Hack number two, I unfortunately didn't do, and I wish I did, but I got, you can get a free pup a chino. So if your dog is with you and you go through the drive-thru, they'll usually just see you and give it to you, but if your dog's waiting in the car and you're gonna run in real quick and get something, you can say, hey, can I get a pup a chino for my dog? And it's just basically a whipped cream type concoction in a cup that's safe for dogs, it's small, and it's free. Hack number three is how to get a cheaper chai tea latte, which I actually did try, is where you can get a chai tea, a venti chai tea, um, and you can ask for a grande in a venti cup, which is what we did. We asked for a grande size chai tea in a venti cup, and we took that back, and we went to go put milk in it from the bar, but they didn't have any, so we just asked for some non-fat milk, and they were fine to give that to us in a short cup. And then we also ordered a chai tea latte, um, which is what this is a hack for. And this is what we thought about it. Okay. So this is the chai tea latte, the original, which we'll both have a sip of. Okay, and then we'll now we'll compare it to the chai tea, which we added milk and sugar. They're pretty similar, but I would say it's a little more watery. Mm -hmm. But I like it. But yeah, it's, like, it's good. It's if you good. want a more subtle, like, kind if of If you taste. want a more subtle, it's very good. It's still good. It's the same um, thing on a more subtle, subtle level, and it's $2 <laughs> cheaper. Also, just a note, we did think that the chai tea latte was stronger than our chai tea latte. But then after a while, after the frothiness of my chai tea latte went down, it was actually the exact same. So that is something that you can consider if you like the frothiness. Um, of a chai tea latte, then definitely still get that. But if you don't and you're not into that because it is kind of a stronger taste, just get the chai tea and add some milk. Hack number four. 
So as you guys w may know that Starbucks owns now Tavana and they sell Tavana in the stores. So if some people are picky about their tea, this is a hack that you can do. So wh what happens is the baristas make a pitcher of tea and they do not add any water to it. But when you order tea, regardless of the size, they fill up maybe, I don't know, uh, a third of the cup or less with the actual tea and the rest is water and ice. So a great way to get more um, bang for your buck is that you can ask for tea without water. So if you get an iced thing, just ask them to pour it straight from the pitcher and not to add water. That way you get more tea, it's not as watered down, and with ice, if you get an ice drink, by the end of your tea, when some of the ice is melted, it will be more watery and taste about the same. Now, before we continue with the hacks, I did try the Crystal Ball Frappuccino, which is a temporary frappuccino, and so I'm gonna go ahead and play that clip. So here we have the Crystal Ball Frappuccino, and we're gonna try it out. So I'll go first. Okay, okay, you try it, and I'll tell you my thoughts. I think it tastes like a peach pie. Like peach ice cream. Mm. It doesn't look like it's peach because of the blue, but it tastes like peach. And I'm not mad at it. What do you think? No, it's interesting. I don't know how to get the blue. But the blue, it's peachy. It doesn't even do blue. I don't get that part. Can I try the whipped cream? There's like candy or something. Yeah, there's like candy. We'll try the candy. Can we get the blue flavor? I don't know. There's different flavors. I think that this one's Adventure. I don't know. Super sweet. Super peachy. I see a crystal ball frappuccino in your future. <laughs> setting change there were some technical difficulties but we're back with hack number five for this one you need a few friends but what you do is you go to your Starbucks and ask for a French press you'll receive a pot with some cups which you have to ask for how many and what size cups you want you will not get charged for those but the total cost of that is eight dollars for 32 ounces of coffee so it's about if everyone in your, the group, if there's four people, got a tall, that'd be about three dollars a piece. So it's a savings about a dollar per person. So the French the French press. Only some Starbucks have it though. So call to make sure they have it. Hack number six is our last and final hack. This one is about the Starbucks rewards. You can go to your local Starbucks and buy a gift card, register it online at Starbucks.com or the Starbucks app, where you can start receiving one star for every two for excuse me two stars for every one dollar you spend at starbucks and every 125 stars equates to one free drink or free food item but there are several challenges throughout the year and where you can get 40 stars if you go twice within this week and things like that so it is easy to rack up those stars but here's a tutorial about how to use a starbucks app and how you can skip the line Hey y'all, here we are on the home page on my iPhone, which you can see the Starbucks app and what it looks like. It's on the second row from the bottom, uh, second from the right. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and load the app. On the home page of the app, you can see m the progress of my stars. I almost have a free drink or a free food item. And um, I know 125 stars seems like a lot that equates to spending $62.50 total. But as you can see right here, uh, I can get 40 bonus stars if I order two macchiatos. So there are ways, which is probably spending less than $10, and I'm getting $20 worth of stars. So, and that I'd less than 10, I'm saying, you know, if I can get a, a Venti, it's about 10, but you can get a tall and, you know, get the same thing. So you could maybe spend $8 and get $20 worth of stars. So they do have good deals like that. Below that, you see a double down, which they do have double star days. And that helps you a lot. So um, the first thing we're going to look at is pay. You can see I have my gold card on here. I also have a physical version of it, and they keep updated with one another. So if I swipe my gold card in real life, it will update the price on my phone and vice versa. I do have a lot of other cards on here. So when you do register, you will register a normal card like this, a gift card. And you can reload it on your phone with your debit card or your credit card and continue to use it and continue to gain those uh, star points. Up here on the top menu of the second item 
from the right you see order which we're going to click on that they have your recent orders which is nice if you make the same order all the time i do not i like to uh, go here and to order something new and for the featured item you can also go uh to here and scroll through and see all the items you want in categories but if you don't know what you want and you're just saying oh well i'm in the mood for chocolate you can go up here in the search bar type start to type in chocolate and all the chocolatey items will come up so that it really helps you figure out what you want so we'll um no stores are open at the moment but we'll act as if we're going to order something so we'll order this iced almond milk Iced cinnamon on my milk macchiato. So I'll click on that. It gives you a description, which is nice. You have nutritional information, all the information about ingredients. I always order a venti. It notifies me that there's going to be a price change. If you would like to get crazy with your order, this is a great way to do it so that it is printed out. You don't have to um, tell the barista five times what you want because you're giving them a lot of instructions and they have to write them all down, but this is already easy enough. So that's all I want. I can just click add item. It shows up down here at the bottom. I will click it. It says no store nearby because it is late at night. And then if that's everything I want, I can go and continue and buy my items right off my phone. It takes between five and eight minutes for them to get your order ready. So you skip the line. If there's a long line and you show up at Starbucks and you don't wanna wait in the line, so you order on your phone, five to eight minutes, a lot shorter. You can order when you leave your house, get there, and it can be ready, and you can pick it up and go, or anything like that. So that's how you order and pay with the Starbucks app. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video a latte, and if you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and leave down in the comments below what you did like about it and what you want to see in future videos. While you're down there, please be sure to click the subscribe button, make sure it says subscribe duh, with a D, and then turn that bell on for notifications so you can keep posted on when I upload new videos. And on that note, be kind, love one another, and see y'all next time.